Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, and peace and blessing be upon his last messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions, and those who follow the right path. Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his grace. Welcome again to Understanding Islam Ramadan. Dear beloved viewers, one of the most distinctive features of Ramadan is the revelation of the Holy Quran in it. As Allah Almighty says, the month of Ramadan in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for mankind and clear proofs of the guidance and the criterion of right and wrong. Surah Al-Baqarah 2, verse 185. The first revelation of the Holy Quran in its entirety was to the lower heaven, and from this lower heaven to earth in stages over the course of 23 years, starting in Ramadan as well. The Holy Quran is the final guidance from Allah Almighty to humanity, as Allah Almighty described it, a guidance for mankind and clear proofs of the guidance and the criterion of right and wrong. So, to avail this guidance from the Holy Quran, we need to recite it, to study its verses, to understand its meanings and directives, and to practice its rules and regulations in our lives. For this, we need to correct our relationship with the Holy Quran in Ramadan, the month of its revelation. We need to strengthen our commitments increase our daily recitation amounts, study the Holy Quran more, understand it better, and live with it and by its directives to attain the guidance and to attain the rewards. There is a firmly established relationship between the Holy Quran and the month of fasting. This is felt by fasting Muslims from the first day of Ramadan. They start reciting the Holy Quran as much as they can with great passion and great enthusiasm. Many of them spend hours at the masjid praying and reciting the Quran. Worshippers praying Taraweeh and Qiyam finish reciting the Holy Quran twice or more in their night prayers. All these and other activities announce that Ramadan is truly the month of the Quran. The Messenger وسلم, himself used to give extra attention to the Holy Quran in Ramadan. Each Ramadan, the Messenger وسلم, used to review and study the whole Quran with Jibreel, peace be upon him. And in the year of his departure from this world, he وسلم, studied and reviewed the Holy Quran with Jibreel, peace be upon him, twice. If this was the practice of the Messenger وسلم, who was the best of people and the most close to the Holy Quran, what about us in Ramadan? Shouldn't we at least imitate our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم? The Salaf and early Muslims used to give the Holy Quran an extra attention in Ramadan. Sometimes, they stop their studies of different branches of knowledge and science in Ramadan to concentrate on reciting, studying, and understanding the Quran. Because of such dedication, many of them used to finish reciting the Holy Quran many times over in Ramadan. We need to point out that reciting all of the Holy Quran is not the ultimate goal, but a means to an end. The aim is to understand and ponder over the Holy Quran and its meaning. Allah Almighty says, This is a book that we have revealed unto thee, full of blessings, that they may ponder its revelation, and that men of understanding may reflect. Surah Sad 38, verse 29. So the actual aim is to recite and understand, to ponder and reflect, to practice 
and live by the Holy Quran and implement it in our lives. Our aim should not be to finish a lengthy surah or complete a juzu or full part only without understanding and without reflection. We should also not rush or hurry while reciting without observing the correct rules of recitation. We need to recite the Quran correctly as well as concentrate on its meanings and stop to reflect on its deeper points and directives. Dear viewers, it is time now for a short break, but we will be right back with more on the blessed month of Ramadan, the month of the Holy Quran. Stay with us. Welcome back to Understanding Islam, Ramadan. We have been discussing the Holy Quran and its integral link to the holy month of Ramadan. Dear viewers, reciting the Holy Quran is not obligatory in Islam, but it is a great way to gain more rewards and blessings. Anyone who does not recite the Holy Quran has lost a great deal of benefits and goodness because the Quran is nur, blessing, guidance, mercy and tranquility for the soul. It is also peace for the heart. Reciting the Quran links the Muslims with Allah and his guidance. It increases their Iman and faith and inspires the Muslim to practice their religion and avoid sins and wrongdoings. Ramadan is a great chance to re-establish your relationship with the Holy Quran. You should start reciting the Holy Quran as often as you can in Ramadan. You can make it a duty to recite a certain amount each day, no matter how busy or lazy you might be. A small amount each day will get you a long way. Reciting the Holy Quran has great rewards. You will get a minimum of 10 rewards for each letter recited, as the Messenger Sallallahu said. Anyone who is serious about rewards cannot waste this great opportunity. If you aspire to recite the whole Quran in Ramadan, it is fairly easy. You can recite two pages only before and after each of the five obligatory salah. It will only take you about 10 minutes or less to do that. This way, you will recite a minimum of 20 pages each day and the full Qur'an in a month. If you manage to recite the complete Qur'an, you will accumulate millions of rewards. And as we know that rewards are multiplied many folds in Ramadan, way beyond the normal 10 or 700 folds. Only Allah knows the final amounts of hasanat and rewards you will get. There are just too many of rewards to go to waste. If you could not recite it fully, then at least recite parts of it and try to increase that amount as you can. Dear viewers, we should endeavor to avail this great opportunity and re-establish our relation with the Qur'an. We should make this month a season for the Holy Qur'an, reciting its verses and practicing its guidance, as the Messenger, uh, as the messenger used to do. We should try to understand it better by studying its meanings and commentaries, by practicing its rules and guidance. We supplicate to Allah Almighty to grant us success in this great month and to guide us to recite, understand, practice, and implement the Holy Quran in our lives and make us good for ourselves and everyone around us. Amin. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and His grace.